Hello friends. So today we'll be covering the very first topic of J mathematics syllabus that is inequalities. When you talk of inequality, the first thing you need to know is interval. What an interval is? You might have heard people saying that x lies in the interval 2 to 3 or x lies in the range 2 to 3. So what does it mean? It means that x can take any value between 2 and 3. x can be 2.5, it can be 2.1, it can be 2.7. That means it, take, it can take any value in between 2 and 3. So interval is basically the range in which the value of x can lie. Now when you talk of interval, there are basically three types of interval. The first is known as the closed interval. The second is the open interval. And the third is half closed, half open interval. Okay, so now let's understand what these are. Okay, first open interval. When I say that x lies in the range of 2 between 2 and 3, what I mean is x can take any value between 2 and 3, that x can be 2.5, 2.1, 2.7, but x can't be 2 and x can't be 3, right? Because x is greater than 2 and x is less than 3. So it can't be 2 and it can't be 3. Or in other words, what I mean is x can take any values excluding 2 and 3. So the extreme point that is 2 and 3 are excluded. That is what an open interval is. The interval is open at the two extreme points. So this is an open interval. Now let's move on to what a close interval is. When I say close interval, the what I mean is that x can take any value between 2 and 3, including 2 and including 3. What I mean is this, right? Now x can take all the values starting from 2 till 3. So the interval is closed at both the ends, so it's known as a closed interval. Okay. Now there can be cases where I say that x is greater than 2 and less than 3 and it is also equal to 3. So this is what a half closed, half open interval is. The interval is open on one side and closed on the other side. Here it is open at the lower point and closed at the extreme point, that is upper point. So this is a, an example of half closed, half open interval. Other example could be where x is greater than or equal to 2 and less than 3. This is also an example of half closed, half open interval. Now. To solve questions on inequality, we need to know the knowledge, we have need to have the knowledge of number line because generally all the questions of inequality we solve using number line. So let's see what a number line is. You already know what a number line is. You might have studied this in your lower classes. A number line is basically a line where we can represent all the real numbers. So this is a line where we can represent all the real numbers. Okay. Okay. Now when I say that x lies between minus 1 and 1, in the number line how we represent that is x, we darken this portion and we say that x lies between minus and 1 and 1 and since it doesn't include these two points minus 1 and 1, we round up these points. So this is how we represent the range in which x lies on a number line. Now let's solve a question using number line. Let's say I have been given a polynomial fx equals to x minus 2 to the power 3 into x minus 3 and I'm asked to find the values of x 
for which this polynomial is less than 0. Okay. Now, using whatever knowledge you have pertaining to polynomials, you know that a polynomial has roots. For example, this polynomial has roots at 2 and 3. And apart from that, this polynomial is sometimes positive, sometimes negative. We are asked to find the range in which this polynomial is negative. Okay, so let's see how we can solve this question using the knowledge of number lines. Remember here, we are not asked to find the value of fx. We are just asked to find the signs of fx. Okay, so if we have a number line like this, Yes. we know that the roots of this equation are this and this 2 and 3 okay now in this polynomial if I put any value greater than 3 which can be 4 5 6 hundred anything I see that this term is positive this term is also positive okay now since both the terms are positive fx is also positive so any value greater than 3 will make this polynomial positive. So this is not the answer because this part is positive. If I put a value of x in between 2 and 3, then this term will become negative. This term is still positive. Now what will happen? A product of a negative term with a positive term will make the polynomial negative. So this is negative. If I put a value less than 2, this is also negative, this is also negative, so the product is a positive quantity. So in the whole, this whole range, this is a positive quantity. So what's the answer? What will be the answer to this question? See, I'm asked to find the range in which the polynomial is negative. From the number line, I see that this is the range. This is the range in which this polynomial is negative. Okay, now my question is, do I include the points 2 and 3? Are these two points included in the answer? You see, I am asked to find the condition where it is less than 0. So, if I put 2 and put 3, then this is equal to 0. So, these two points are not included and so this is the interval. The interval is an open interval. Open intervals we can also write as 2 and 3. We put braces like this. Okay, This is the notation for an open interval. For closed interval, we write like this. That means these two points are included. For half open, half open interval, we write like this. This is to denote open interval and this is to denote the closed interval. So whichever side the interval is closed, we'll write like this. Whichever side the interval is open, we'll write like this. Okay? Fine. Now let's take another example. I'll suggest you to try that example on your own and then see the solution to this question.